rare celestial event collides with a policy failure on the ground. The southern border will be directly in the path of totality today when the moon covers the sun for nearly four minutes. Oh my God! Totality on the border for nearly four minutes. What does that mean? Armageddon? Flooding? Earthquakes? Volcanic eruptions? Massive explosions? Spill it out for us, Bill Hammer. Uh, we are told that officials are bracing for higher traffic than usual, and that means a real opportunity for smugglers and cartels and migrants to come right in. Wait, migrants are going to come right in during those four minutes of totality and darkness? That's the apocalypse? Except as a Fox News reporter noted from the border, the conditions were not favorable. The Eagle Pass actually expected to be the very first spot in all the United States where the totality of this eclipse is supposed to be seen, but that is only if the weather cooperates. And right now it's not looking too good. We got forecasted overcast skies all day long here in Eagle Pass today. No, that's not what you're supposed to report. Fox News, you're supposed to show us a frightening invasion, even during eclipse coverage. Surely you have a backup plan. Our team shot this over the weekend in Sunland Park, New Mexico. You'll see uh, illegal immigrants dressed in dark clothing, sometimes camouflage, actively trying to sneak into the United States as suspected cartel scouts and coyotes watch from a mountain above. You'll see. Ah, now that is more like the Fox News we know. Scare the hell out of people, even if you have to use older videotape. And don't worry if connecting the eclipse to the border crisis is somehow stretch. Fox News viewers will still fall for it. The fact is, the celestial phenomena did not lead to an increase or invasion at the U.S.-Mexico border. Fox News ignored the follow-up report because that would have gotten in the way of their right-wing Biden bashing agenda. But it wasn't just the gang at Fox News who reminded us, thanks to the eclipse, that a lot of conservatives are morons. Remember Donald Trump's former White House press secretary, Sarah Sanders? She's the governor of Arkansas, and as the Raw Story headline noted, Sarah Huckabee Sanders declares state of emergency ahead of eclipse. Out of an abundance of caution, I've directed funds to be released from the Response and Recovery Fund ahead of the Great American Eclipse. This will assist commercial carriers transporting essential items to customers in Arkansas during the eclipse. We want to make sure our Kansans and all visitors have an enjoyable experience and come back again and again. Sanders' proclamation fed into right-wing conspiracy theories that the government was hiding something and that... The eclipse was really the end of days. But if the rivers fill with blood, the sky starts raining frogs, mass livestock die-offs happen, I'm certain it's going to be every man for himself. <laughs> and no amount of Arkansas emergency funds is going to ease the mass chaos. Naturally, though, there was no mass chaos in Arkansas or anywhere else. And God was not using a celestial event preordained long before creation to somehow condemn us. But Sanders did remind us that there's still an emergency in Arkansas, and that is the fact that the governor of the state is a moron. Georgia Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene, before and during the eclipse, essentially said, hold my beer. Greene doubled down on this tweet from a few days ago when she wrote, God is sending us strong signs and telling us to repent earthquakes and eclipses and many more things to come. I pray that our country listens. Green received widespread mockery and ridicule. Readers added the context that Monday's eclipse was predicted hundreds of years ago. It will not have been caused by contemporary actions. On the day of the eclipse, Green wrote, Many have mocked and scoffed at this post and even put community notes. Jesus talked about that in Luke 12, 54-56. Yes, eclipses are predictable and earthquakes happen, and we know when comets are passing by. However, God created all of these things and uses them to be signs for those of us who believe. Well, for all of us who believe that Green is an idiot, and an asset for Russia's Vladimir Putin, Green gave us proof of both while discussing things on Eclipse Day. Here she is talking about the war in Ukraine. But let's talk about what this really is, Steve. This is a war on Christianity. The Ukrainian government is attacking Christians. The Ukrainian government is executing priests. Um, Russia is not doing that. They're not attacking Christianity. As a matter of fact, they seem to be protecting it. So that's something else that's clear and obvious to many people that are looking closely at what's going on. Actually, the percentage of Ukraine's population that is Christian is twice that of Russia. Also, Russia has bombed and destroyed hundreds of churches in Ukraine. Russian troops have slaughtered families, taken hostages, and gang-raped women in Ukraine. What part of protecting Christianity is that, Marge? There is stupid, and then there is Marjorie Taylor Greene, with or without an eclipse. By the way, Democrats are now trolling Greene's hero Donald Trump in epic fashion. We, if Republicans really want to 
honor Donald Trump. The most appropriate way to do that is to name a federal prison. He might be visiting soon. That is Virginia Democrat Jerry Connolly. He has formally introduced a House bill to rename this Florida prison the Donald J. Trump Federal Correctional Institution. And I just thought, for a guy who's now got 88 criminal indictments pending, criminal, mm -hmm. plus two major civil penalty trials that have already been resolved, costing him about a half a, million, half a billion dollars. I think it's only fitting. The move follows an effort by House Republicans to name Washington Dulles Airport after Trump. Democrats say the Florida prison is more appropriate. They get the Trump endorsement for that. I don't think there's a building he wouldn't want his name on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Congressman Connor, are you, are you going to sign on as a sponsor? I sign on total steady Bill Jerry Connolly. He's <laughs> one of the smartest members of Congress. The smart and witty trolling of Trump comes as the former president is again sparking intense ridicule and criticism. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Truthseeker4280. Very fitting to name that correctional after the law and order president. Indeed. I look forward to reading your comments about the MAGA morons revealing themselves, all related to the eclipse. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.